that puts a hell of a lot of stress on your lower back, your whole, your whole vertebrae is in a bad, bad position. You're gonna get hurt, guarantee it. What's up guys? Today uh, I want to talk about deadlifting. I get a lot of questions about deadlifting and it's, it's a pretty simple lift in its face, but there are some technical things that will help you uh, execute this lift better and safer, more importantly, because you don't want to wrench your back, more importantly, because it stresses the back a lot. If you, especially if you're not, if you don't deadlift properly, you can really hurt your back. So it's very important that you do your setup right and that you have these little um, techniques down pat so you don't hurt yourself. That's number one. Uh, deadlifting, just an overview, is a great compound movement. Uh, I still deadlift. I'm 54, but I still deadlift, man. I don't go as super heavy as I used to but I still incorporate it in my back workouts every week. Uh, sometimes I'll take a week off, my back's a little bit sore, but I've never gotten injured on it. Knock on wood there, but I still like the deadlifts are great for your, your, rear, your, your posterior chain. They hit hamstrings, they hit glutes, lower back, lats, and traps, pretty much. Don't do a whole lot for your arms, okay? They also hit your quads a little bit too, so it's a pretty much a full body workout when you deadlift, similar to squatting, it really is, but I think squats are the ultimate full body um, stimulator, but deadlifts are a very close second. And um, that's what I love about deadlifts. You really hit your whole body. If you're really looking to work your posterior chain, meaning hamstrings and glutes especially, um, and lats, lower back, like I said, the erector muscles, upper back, lower back, trapezius up here. This is a, this is, this is a great movement for that. Uh, but the important thing is, is to execute it safely. And I'm gonna give you the tips that I use, that I do, Help me now. There's two ways to deadlift, and you, I'm sure you've heard of them. Maybe not. One is conventional, and one is sumo. I'm going to stick to conventional. I've never done sumo lifts. Um, when I competed in powerlifting, I always did conventional. Some guys do sumo. Sumo is a different setup. I don't know enough about sumo technically to really go over the finer points of it. I've, I've sumo lifted in the gym. I know how to do it, but I'm just going to focus on conventional. If you decide you want to do sumo. The main difference to me for, between sumo and conventional is sumo, you're getting a lot more hips in there, a lot more glutes in there, because you're with sumo, you're, you're out here like this. You're way far out. With conventional, you're more in like this, okay? So your foot placement on sumo is way far, and you're gripping the bar in like this, and you're coming up like that, okay? Kind of like that, okay? I'm not a great sumo lifter, so I'll leave that to you. can look that, look that up on YouTube or Google it. You'll see tons of videos on how to sumo lift with people that know a hell of a lot more about doing proper sumos than I do, so I don't want to mislead you there. So I'm just going to stick to what I do is conventional. Now, the, one of the most important things on conventional deadlifting or deadlifting is uh, your your placement to the bar. Now, I have a standard bar here, Olympic bar. I only got 45 pounds, I got 135 pounds in here. The important thing is when you come up, you want to get the bar, when you, when you, when you start to lift, the bar should be touching your shin. You don't want to be back off the bar like right now i'm standing it's hard to tell here but right now the bar is about eight inches in front of my shin so i'm already i'm lurching forward and, and getting in a bad position to start you know you don't want to be arcing if you look at it from the side all right you don't want to round your back like this and when you're out like this you start rounding see what i mean when you're in tighter you're lower so you'll you still can round your back but the important thing is is not to round your back when you're deadlifting. And by rounding my back, what I mean is, when you grab the bar, you'll see people do this. See how I'm rounding and then I'm coming up like that. That puts a hell of a lot of stress on your lower back, your whole, your whole vertebrae is in a bad, bad position. You're gonna get hurt, guarantee it. The better way to set up, I'm not gonna go over foot position, I'm just gonna go over back, is you wanna be like this here, like this here, head up. Or sometimes people have their head down, I like my head up, and you're just kind of sitting just straight back up. You're, you notice I'm not rounding my back here. Boom, just like that. So facing the front again, shins are going to be touching the bar. The, the reason for that is you want to keep the bar the whole way up. You want the bar to completely ride up your thigh all the way up. You don't want that bar to ever get in front of you. It, if it gets off of your legs, out in front of you, you're gonna lose your, your groove, you're gonna lose your strength groove, okay? It's like when you bench press, if you get out of your groove, you lose power. Same with the squat, same with the deadlift. So you wanna keep in that groove. Important thing is, is foot position. I like to keep my feet about a foot apart, okay, for me. 
pointed straight ahead, slightly at an angle, kind of like my squat position, very similar to where my feet are when I squat, pretty much identical actually. And you want to grip it. Now you can use wrist wraps, it's fine. If you want to use wrist wraps, use wrist wraps. Wrist wraps are great. I use wrist wraps when I practice, when I deadlift. Uh, or you can use a, you can just use a regular, you know, just regular grip without wrist wraps. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna focus on grip right now, but what you want, when you set up on this, you notice my, the crook of my elbow is touching my leg. You know, I'm not out like this, okay? This is more, you don't, that's not a good position. You wanna bring everything in alignment, nice and tight, okay? Take the slack out of the bar. You see my head up, and I'm almost in a squat position right now. And when you squat, you're like this. Similar to deadlift, because when I get this bar off the ground, and that's right against my shins, I'm coming up, boom, that's it. And it stays right against my, it's right against my thighs right now, all right? It's not out in front of me at all. Boom, just like that, it's a snap. That's it, that's basically the movement. Like I say, if you notice the bar stayed right up along my shins now, it does, it can bite your shins a little bit. If the neural catches your shin, you're gonna cut your shins. You'll, get, you'll see guys, I've had them. We get these sores <laughs> on the shin. So you wanna to try to find a bar that doesn't have neural in the middle of it. Helps, okay? Not a big deal, don't worry about it. You can wear, I wear compression, usually when I, compression tights when I, when I deadlift, because that protects my shins. Uh, you can wear sweatpants, whatever you want. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend sweats because the bar is going to catch on that material. You want to be, you want to have something tight, okay? Or just like I'm doing right now, it's fine too. So, little tip on that. Uh, but that's the important thing. Hand placement. I like to keep my hands tight to my legs, like when I was setting up here. I got my hands out. I've seen guys go a little bit further out, okay? But usually most people are right here, all right? Right right along the legs, because that's where your strength is at. I like to tell people when I deadlift, I like to think of myself as pushing my legs, my feet through the floor, okay, like a leg press. So I'm coming up, boom. And that, I kind of feel myself pushing my feet through the floor, all right? So those are the basics. Keep, your, keep the bar tight to your body. Don't round your back. It takes practice a little bit, but just focus on not rounding the back. And uh, those, are the, those are the two big things. Start out light with just the bar uh, till you get used to it. Just start out light, don't pile a bunch of weight on there and you can hurt yourself. Now a lot of guys say, I've heard that lots of guys say, once you hit 50, you shouldn't be doing deadlifts anymore, you shouldn't be doing squats anymore, you shouldn't be bench pressing anymore. You know, there's some validity to that, I will say. Uh, I think that the key word there is, for me, is don't go heavy. I don't squat 700 pounds anymore, you know, I don't bench 500 pounds anymore, I don't deadlift 700 pounds anymore, you know, I do workout weights of 405, you know, occasionally 500 maybe on a good day, but I still stay around that neighborhood, which is still a lot of weight, but a lot less than I used to do. Um, it can be injured, you can get injured on these lifts, especially squatting, uh, if you're not careful, just go light, check the ego at the door. You know, go light, warm up really well, and these still are effective lifts. Uh, I still recommend doing them. If you got knee problems, if you got back problems, I wouldn't do them. I would, I would just shit can them, and do T-bar rows on a T-bar machine, or use, you know, use hammer strength um, rowing machines. But all things being equal, if you're pretty healthy and you're pretty good, like I say, I'm not a doctor, I'm not giving advice here. I don't, you know, but I think all if you go light on these, they're fantastic. You don't need a lot of weight to just stimulate on these. I, I, I love them. Do them at the end of your workout if you want to pre-exhaust even. But uh, just thought I'd throw it out because I, I get a lot of guys at the gym who are older saying, hey, man, I see you deadlifting a lot. You know, what do you get out of it? Do you like it? Is it, you know, is it, I love it. it. It makes me feel good. I'm growing from it. You know, it, I get a good growth from it. I get a good bite from bite by meaning it really hits the muscles I want to hit. So I recommend doing it, but doing it safely. Now you notice I'm not wearing shoes. If you're deadlifting, I wouldn't wear thick sole shoes because that's all the further you got to move the bar off the floor. You know, it's not a big deal. I'm splitting hairs here. I'm kind of going back to competing and powerlifting where we want to be flat, as flat as possible with the soles of our feet to the floor because a half inch is pounds, poundage is the more you got to move it. So in the gym, if you want, you can wear your socks or barefoot. 
uh, or just get some get some uh, training shoes. You know, some Nike the Metcons or something like that are good. But you can train with thick soled shoes. You can use running shoes if you want. But I would recommend not use a wrestling shoe or uh, like a Nike tra uh, training shoe. Okay, that just footwear is important for that. Uh, chalk, if you want to. I would just say use wrist wraps on that. That way you don't have to worry about your grip. You know, you can just hit the wrist wrap, boom, you lift it. You don't have to worry about it slipping on your hands. If you if you don't want to use wrist wraps, I would get some chalk. You put a little, if your gym allows it, chalk up your hands. Uh, about grip, um, if you're using wrist wraps, you don't have to worry about grip because the wrist wraps take care of that for you. If you want to train without wrist wraps and work on your grip and your forearms, because it does work your forearms for sure, uh, in powerlifting, we do what's called a mixed grip, which is one hand is under the bar, one hand is over the bar like this. So it's like this, not like this, you're like this. So your dominant hand is usually the one that's underhand. I'm left-handed, so this dominant hand is under, my right is over, okay? What that does is it prevents the bar from slipping a little bit. There's less likely you'll slip when you're mixed grip. Now, there's guys today using overhand and, and hook grips and all this fancy stuff that, that I see people doing today, which is fine. I never did it. I always use mixed grip. Uh, but wrist wraps, man, no shame in that. I use them when I train and you don't have to worry about the bar slipping, especially if your hands are sweaty or whatever. But that's it. If you got any questions about deadlifting, feel free to ask them in the comments below or you got something to add you deadlift. Uh, if you do, do you like it? Uh, do you get, do you, have you gotten good results out of it? There's, there's a million variations of deadlifting. I showed you the most basic variation, which is the conventional there's some, I've done it where they call deadlift deficits, where you put a plate or a block under each foot. Or you're on a, you, you raise your body up. So when you're going down, you're further down from a starting point, which it's called deficit lifting, which you can see why it's a deficit, because you're starting at a deficit. The bar is actually lower because you're higher. Um, that's going to work different areas of the body. It's going to put more stress on the back, the glutes and hamstrings, the posterior chain. And it also just helps increase the strength of your deadlift obviously there's also partial deadlifts where guys bring the bar up and you're in, in, it's the reverse of deficits where the bar is higher so you're starting maybe here with the bar up but the, the 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 plates are on blocks or a rack and you're just doing partials like this instead of all the way down you're going and you can do those back here like on my rack you can set the pins here put the bar inside the rack start from this position here and just do partial deadlifts those can be actually very effective for working your back too, but I won't go into too much detail about that. I maybe do a video about partials later. There's a lot of stuff you can do in a power rack. Anyway, that's the deadlift, folks. Uh, hope that gave you some insight. Don't be afraid to do it. I know a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to go do a deadlift or a squat because I look stupid in the gym. Nobody's going to make fun of you, man. Just uh, start out real light, work on your form, and slowly add the weight. And... Uh, You'll see the results. You'll see thickness in your back. Your glutes are going to um, get some size and some uh, uh, musculature. Your glutes and your hamstrings back here. Your quads also get taxed a little bit when you when you deadlift. All your lower body really gets hit, including the, like I said, it's a full body workout. So um, you'll, you'll like the results you'll get when you start deadlifting. But just take it slow. Use the good form. I, those two things I point out, don't round the back. Keep the bar tight throughout the movement and you'll see you'll start seeing some good results on it but if you got back problems or knee problems or things like that i wouldn't do deadlifts i'd leave them the side i would figure out other ways to there's a lot of other things you can do this is just another thing you can do to add into your uh, workout so all right guys have a good one